Hello, welcome to Nana's Crafty Corner. My name is Donna, and I'm just popping on just for a few minutes to show you how I make cupcakes dresses. What I do is I chain, I think I chain 65 for this one, and then I um, half double crocheted all the way around it, and then I slip stitched it together, and then I did a double crochet. You can see the double crochet. And then I started a shell. And then when I got the shell finished, I put a post in there so that you can see it. But this is how I make them. I, I measure it over her head, and um, that's how I do it. Um, this is the thread I'm using. It's um, Annie's Attic. I think it's what it, no, it's not. It's not Annie's Attic. It's the, the Red Heart. Fine. But um, I wanted to make one out of this. Wouldn't that be beautiful? But that's all I have of that one. And it is this. There's not enough yardage. Let me see. I'm trying to find the yardage on it. It says it's a number three weight, which it looks like a two to me. Um, that just tells. Um, oh, it says it's 160 yards and 150 milligrams, seven point seven six ounces right there that's the name of the yarn i got it's just off this ball band right here um my daughter gave it to me about three years ago and i also have i usually make the barbie clothes out of those and i take um thread number 10 thread and i work these right here because i got sinkles all over them and i make barbie clothes with these um, I've got two of these ones. Um, I, got, I got my bag over here. Ain't it pretty? It's got butterflies all over it. This here was a dress that I was making for myself, but I quit making it. Oh, I do have... No, that's not the same color. But I've made a Barbie dress and a skirt out of this one already. Um, I do have more thread than this. I don't know why that's in there. That's a four ply. But I've got my other white. Because this one right here hasn't got much left on it. Because I've been making some things with it. This is a creamy tan. And it's this brand. I've had them for a long time. My daughter got me a bunch of thread. I don't have very much of it left. Because I was making a lot of doorways back then. Um that and putting them on Christmas bulbs. But I made another one of these like I did for Granny D. I'm going to give this to my daughter, Rachel. And I'm going to put a magnet on the back of it so she can put it on the refrigerator. But it's pretty. But um, I just wanted to show you this right here that I'm making for Cupcake. And um, I keep putting it on her to, to see how big I got to make it. And, um, yeah, this is how I do it. And then I take and I fold it in half. This is the needle I'm using. Um, I forget what the number is on it. Let me pull the, I'm not going to be able to pull that thing down. Here it goes. It's a, um, A 2.5 this one it tarnished it being this thing being on it but my daughter Rachel found these on um, I think she found them on Amazon these little holders to put on it so that I could put it on the, each needle that I use and it helps because it's it's not as tiny to work with but Yep, that's what I'm doing today. 
spent listening to Katrina's Crochet World, um, all her uh, videos. So it's uh, all her live shows that she's done. But yep. So um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day today. It's a beautiful day here. It's still a little cool, but it's going to get in the 80s, 88. Um, but yep, that's what I've been doing today. But I hope you guys are having a happy, happy, sunshiny day.